Hello, uh, this is a canvas. I'm, I'm using a canvas because I, I wanted to do something a bit big. I got really nice screenshots sent me. It was, it was a close up, close up of a Thargoid. And I wanted to uh, spend a bit longer on it. And paintings do take me a bit longer. And I quite enjoy doing them occasionally. So this Thargoid is uh, seen from the side and, and it's, uh, it's, it's cropped. So you, you're not seeing the whole thing. It's the close up of the center part of the Thargoid and it's beam. It's got a, um, a beam that uh, it can use to sort of track to things and also uh, send an electromagnetic pulse out, which can disable your ship. Anyway, yeah, Thargoids, uh, they're a spacefaring species. Uh, the aliens, they're the only aliens that are really in the elite universe. You, you, there are other alien remnants and bits and bobs and stories of aliens, but at the moment they're the only ones we've met and uh, they don't like us. <laughs> Keep shooting them, that's why. We've had a couple of wars with them. Once a while back, uh, and there's a war sort of lingering on at the moment, sort of ebbing and flowing. But a while back, I mean like, you know, a few hundred years back in the original game, which is in the story of the game, is, is referred to as being a uh, few hundred years ago. In the original game you played uh, Commander Jameson and this character Jameson in, in the update of the, the story. Jameson is, uh, is employed by the military to infect the Thargoids with a virus, this bioweapon that they developed. Um, it's the uh, Intergalactic Naval Reserve Arm, INRA. They've got a bad reputation now because of this, the, uh, this, this bioweapon they developed. And they, they're a bit shady about it. They, they told Jameson that he was off to deliver this payload, this, um, this missile in his specially adapted Cobra. Uh, he thought he was gonna shoot this, this mycoid missile at the mothership and it wasn't going to be able to use hyperspace. That's what he thought the virus was going to do. In fact, it actually destroys the Thargoids and kills them as well. And uh, Inra considered that to be what they wanted to do because they, they wanted to get rid of the Thargoids to, to protect humanity, I guess. Uh, but, um, but yeah, they, they didn't tell him exactly just how deadly this weapon he was carrying was and that it was going to infect the Thargoids and pretty much wipe them out. But in fact, when he realised what it was doing, uh, it was pretty much too late because they'd um, they'd secretly tampered with his Cobra and uh, it then ended up crashing and he was killed, we assume. Um, so anyway, this, this is what an angry Thargoid sounds like. Anyway, so yeah, they killed a, a bunch of Thargoids, this microwave weapon, and then they they, they, they potted off again, um, as you would. 
and uh, a vaccine was developed actually for this micro but it doesn't make them better but it, it stops it getting worse uh, so potentially and also apparently now they, they've developed a certain level of immunity to this this virus as well uh, I believe so this this time but then now we've got different weapons now they've discovered these uh, other aliens that had this war with the Thargoids We've been and uh, investigated these uh, alien sites and found out blueprints from these these aliens, which have enabled us to develop better weapons to fight the Thargoids with. The fight against the Thargoids is, is now pretty conventional, using these specialised cannons and uh, missile launchers that these, a these other aliens, the Guardians, they're um, an extinct race, we assume. So yeah, this is bubbling under anyway. This ebb and flow uh, will take a few systems and then they'll strike back. It does seem like we're on the offensive at the moment and the, and the Thargoids are being uh, are running at the moment, I think. But I'm sure that won't last long. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the guy, the guy who sent me this screenshot, he said he took in Pleiades, took a friend out to show him the sites and they were looking to get a Thargoid probe, which is uh, one of the first pieces of evidence we had that the Thargoids were on their way back. Right, a few years back, it was the first thing that appeared. They were referred to as unknown artefacts, and uh, nobody quite knew what they were, except that when you put one on your ship, uh, your ship started to break down. So people collect the probes for a variety of reasons, and uh, he was looking for one, and this Thargoid rocked up and watched them for a bit, apparently. So this is a, a fairly benign Thargoid in this case that I painted here. So I'm um, blending colours and putting details on on this painting, uh, trying to show a little bit of the highlight from that, that white star that's at the top and, and starting to add the uh, oranges and yellows from the, the glow, the, the Thargoid's internal um, heat vents or just its, its, its war paint or whatever it is. But these, these orange uh, vents, they, they, they glow and if, if it gets angry they'll, they'll glow different colour, these, these little vents on, on the side of, of the Thargoid's petals. They're, they're shaped rather like flowers, these things. They're different, uh, the different types of Thargoids are shaped slightly differently. There's the scouts, which are small and uh, look a little bit like the, the original game, a bit like limpets they look, and they're um, the most similar in appearance to the original game's Thargoids. But uh, alongside those, you get now you've got, there's a Cyclops, which is a, a kind of a pale bluish green one, which I suspect is this the one that I'm doing here, this is a Cytops I think, and it's got four four hearts and each one of these hearts is, uh, it keeps it going rather like you can't, you've got to take out each one of the four hearts if you want to kill it and uh, it'll have alongside it, it'll have a, a little swarm of little weaponised drones, little Thargons, which are um, will spiral around in various different patterns around you and they will batter away at you and cause you damage. They're your entry level horrific nightmare alien combat situation I guess <laughs> but after that you've got the basilisk uh, basilisk's uh, scarier still <laughs> it's kind of orangey and it's got uh, it's got eight petals and a chunky look about it it's kind of bronzy chunky thing it's the fastest uh, of all of the Thargoid interceptors so it's uh, the one you want to watch I guess for that you need to be able to run away quickly and it, 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 it's got a few more Thargons that it can put out as well so the Thargon Swarm is, is incrementally harder to manage as well. Then then you get the two more scary ones still, there's two more, the uh, the Medusa which has got uh, kind of like terrifying red spikes on the end of its um, and it's it doesn't normally attack you apparently but uh, it, it will if, if you're um, if, you, if you poke it. <laughs> But yeah, if you've got stuff in your hold that it, it considers to be either dangerous to it or or its own possession, then yeah, it, it will it will pack a punch. And, and it's got six hearts. The Medusa has, uh, and, uh, and then finally you've got 
the hydra which looks a little bit like the tip of a, uh, a fir tree it looks a little bit like a fir tree it's got it's got green uh, it's got green petals it's got about 12 green petals and uh, they, they, they're rotating uh, upper petals as well spiky and green basically it can throw out a terrifying number over 100 dargons and it has eight hearts so if, if you want to kill it uh, then you're gonna have to work hard or you're gonna have to have buddies with you but yeah it, it won't it won't attack you unless you attack it or again as, as i say if you're doing uh, if you're carrying stuff that it thinks it, it should have or you shouldn't have <laughs> anyway yeah they, they found another one they don't know anything about it yet but i think that it got dropped into the game by accident and that's a, a big old blue thing but no one's quite sure what that one was so i'm gonna i'm not gonna go on about that one yeah they're not sure about the uh, the thargoid whether or not it is a living beast or whether or not it is a, a dalek like machine that the beast sits in or a little bit like a bit of both like a, the, the cylon ships in the in the battle of Thar galactica where you've got like they are partially partially sinew and and uh, they they react and i suspect personally that there is a little there's a little fella in the cockpit but he is tied into his organic meat vessel so <laughs> they're um, yeah they, they're intriguing with the big biological spaceships it's a cool idea i really like it it's uh, i mean it, it's certainly not the only instance of this in science fiction but i think it, it, they've, they've been beautifully programmed they look amazing they sound amazing as well so that is really good in fact, I've got I've got a little bit more thuggy noise to end the video with. So, happy listening. <laughs>